difference of the space and the state. Correct. Uh, that, that actually clarifies it for me, and I do experience both, of course. Um, so our, our, do I understand you to say that we are always in that space, the observer, the witness, the whatever, the, the consciousness, the awareness, but that there's, you know, what was that, that was space, right. uh, but that the states, can yeah. go according to our distractions or the latest news of the elections or we're feeling sick or whatever it might be. We're helping someone. But the way of life comes there, there's states that interweave, but that the space is the background remaining, always remaining as the the God part, the observer. Yes. Whatever. Yes. The truth of who you are. Otherwise, how would you know that you went into a meditative place and then you went to chaos? Yes. Who is aware of the two? Yes. Beautiful. So, so bring your attention, shift your attention right now, simply on the one who is aware of the two, but is not any of it. You can do it, you can do it right now. Just do it in a moment. Just bring, bring your attention. Simply bring your attention, turn your attention inwards. Not to how you feel, but the one who's aware of it. And see what happens. It's a, it's a stillness, a still awareness. Yes, almost immediately everything becomes quiet. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Almost immediately the quality of the air, the space you're in shifts. So the everyday life, I mean the practice of that, clearly it's, it's, it's easy in, in prayer, meditation, in quietness, etc., etc., etc. For all of us, or for me particularly, the, the discipline or the practice is to be able to remain there in, in, in that space while we're talking to friends or while we're listening to this or that. Not to not to drop that one off and get involved with the action out there. In the beginning and early stages, yes. Your homework is to be completely indifferent to whatever is happening. Completely indifferent. Like you absolutely do not care of the most significant event in the world happen and you're just like, okay? Yeah. They, well, you, you want freedom, right? Right, right, right. right. You, you want to become free or you want to stay a slave? Which one do you want? Yeah, you're tired of slavery, aren't you? Yes. yes. You've had enough, your fair share of ups and downs and fear, anxiety. You've lost, you lost loved ones. You've been heartbroken. You have suffered. So, what do you want to do? Do you want to take the challenge or you want to fall back into an old pattern that only brings suffering and no comfort and hoping maybe your president or your leader or whomever creates a better world for you or are you just going to take responsibility and create it for yourself no i would take the challenge Yes, then the challenge is to do your homework. And I'm here to help you. I'm here. Thank you. 
that even if hundreds of times you fail and you deviate from your path, you come back to me and I'll just put you back on your path. That's what I'm here to do. Thank you so much. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for all of us for your teaching. My pleasure. Shanti Devi. Yes, hi Zara Chuspa. Hello. Hello. Where where are you located? In Germany. Okay. Where where in Germany? Uh, near Darmstadt. It's between Heidelberg and Frankfurt. Near where you said? Frankfurt and Heidelberg. Okay. <laughs> All right. My challenge is that I quite often I'm suffering from severe physical pain. Okay. And when my body is aching very much, it is difficult not to forget who I really am. Do you have an idea what I could do? It's like Sometimes the pain is so so heavy that I feel reduced to the pain and I can't think anything other. And then it's difficult to be the observer or to find stillness. What can you tell me a little bit about this pain? Are you comfortable to talk about it here or that's something you like to not mention. Yeah, I can talk about it. Um, it's uh, a severe fibromyalgia. Okay. So my joints and my muscles are aching very much. Okay. And of course, there is a history of, of violence that produced it. Yeah? That something in myself really. Um, contracted too much. Are you feeling the pain right now? Yeah, a little bit. How is your digestion? How do you digest food? Quite well. Great. And this pain comes and goes, or it's there all the time? It's there very often, and I have times when it feels like um, the old wound is activated, and then my body cramps. So you're relating it to a, an old emotional wound? Yes. So, right now, can you just relax into the pain, even though if it's uncomfortable for five seconds, just relax into admitting the pain without resisting it and just kind of dive into it? Yeah. And I try to be more in the observer, then I feel that the pain gets a little bit reduced, but it's still there. It's like... So right now that you kind of dove into it and you relaxed into it, it relaxed? It changed? Yeah, it changed from six to four. Okay. Okay. 